Hey, what's up addicts out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another video here. This one's a little bit different than what we normally do. I wanted to talk to you guys about a brand new partner that we have. This is a company that we're gonna start working with this year and into the future and we're super excited about it just because their products are amazing. We're talking about Nick Wax. If you haven't heard of Nick Wax, what Nick Wax is, is it's basically a waterproofing that you should familiarize yourself with because if you're an angler, especially in the Pacific Northwest or anywhere where you're getting lots of rain or water on you or snow or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you take care of your gear. So what I have here is a pair of Pro Dry Sims bibs. And I think I've had these for probably two years, maybe more, I don't even really know. It's been a long time. I've never washed them. I've never re-waterproofed them. I've never done anything like that. So we're gonna put this stuff to the test and see what it can actually do. And they have two different products. They have basically the Tech Wash, and what that's gonna do is clean effectively, it revitalize the breathability and restores the water repellency to your Gore-Tex. Then what you can do is you can wash it in the actual waterproofing, and that's gonna add an even more repellency to it. It's gonna basically revive the breathability of the material. And it's gonna make it feel like it's brand new again. I've already been testing this stuff on a lot of my other products, but I wanted to show you guys how this stuff work and show you how awesome it is. I'm gonna have some links down below so you guys can check out the products and get them on Amazon or do whatever you wanna do, but I highly suggest it. Now let's let the fun commence. All right, everyone, so what I wanted to do here is I wanted to kind of get dressed in my gear and make sure that I'm all zipped up nice and dry like and I wanted to get wet I wanted to have someone spray me with the hose and, ha and show you guys kind of what this material acts like after it's been dirty for a while and it hasn't been restored and gotten its breathability back we're gonna show you kind of what it looks like before the wash and before we apply the actual repellency to the gear let me put my mustad thing on here Cody's gonna squirt me to death I want to make sure I'm nice and warm here All right, let her fly. All right, so now I'm wet. And as you guys can see, if you take a look at this material, I didn't zip one pocket, so that's pretty neat. Zip that back up. But you can see that it's kind of lost its repellency. Now, did you spray right there, Cody? Probably not. Ah! Yeah, no, definitely didn't. But as you can see, it's lost its repellency. It's not beating the water off as it normally would. The water's kind of soaking into the material and it's not doing its job basically. And what that's from is you, as over time as you're using your gear, you get a lot of oil and grease and grime and fish guts and whatever else all over it. And it starts to absorb into the material and it just doesn't hold its breathability anymore and it doesn't waterproof and repel the water as good as it is. So we're gonna show you why this tech wash and this tech wash waterproofing is so amazing. So follow us along. Let's go put this in the washer. All right, so here we are, we're in the laundry room. We're gonna open this stuff up and put it to the test here for you guys to find out. So basically what it's saying here is, I got a top loading washing machine, and it says place six garments in washing machine max. So after the machine is filled, add five fluid ounces for one to three garments. And then you want a low water level. My washing machine is one of those ones that's like energy and water, whatever, you know, save, save energy, save water, all that kind of jazz. So it automatically measures the water for me. So basically what I just need to do is add five fluid ounces of this, of this fluid, and then it looks like it wants it on heavy and warm setting. So we're gonna go to heavy at the soil level. We're gonna put it on warm. I'm gonna open this thing up. All right, so I'm gonna zip. I'm gonna get my Sims bibs and jacket and everything kind of zipped up and all closed up so the zippers don't get messed up at all. I'm gonna zip this all up here actually going to also clip them just so they're not having anything happen to them. I'm going to throw those in there. I'm going to do the same here with this guy. Get the jacket all zipped up. 
Like so. We're gonna throw that in there. Then we're gonna measure out five fluid ounces, which looks like it's a screw off cap. So basically one third cup is roughly two and a half ounces. So I'm just gonna take one third cup and put two of those in there. One. Stuff doesn't really smell like anything, honestly. Two, so we got two cups of it in there. Two one third cups. Don't put two cups be wasting it at that point and we're gonna close this washer up we're just gonna do a quick wash here one rinse let's see what happens we'll be back with you in just a second all right everyone so the washer finally just got done running its cycle so we're gonna pull those out of there Then what we're gonna do is let's read back on the directions and see what it says here. For top loading washing machines, it says drying. It says no need to dry before waterproofing. So we don't have to dry before we add the waterproofing. So basically what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna read the directions on the back of this. A top loading washing machine, it says a uh, maximum of three garments and it says after the machine is filled add 10 fluid ounces so like I said one third cup um, is roughly two and a half ounces so I'm just gonna put basically four of these hey get down Finn my dog wanted to eat it stay down sit We're gonna basically put four of these in there. All right, so we got the TX Direct wash in. We're gonna close this washer back up. Let's see what it says here. Top loading, set cycle to heavy, warm. So basically same thing. We're gonna do quick wash. Set it to heavy, set it to warm. Let it do its thing. Let's see what happens. All right, everyone, so the cycle just finished again and basically what this Directions is telling me now is to air dry or tumble dry on low setting if the care label allows. So you're gonna want to check. Um, you're gonna want to check your your labels on whatever Gore-Tex or whatever company you're using. I know for a fact that you're able to you're able to air tumble dry your Sims gear because I've done it in the past with other Sims gear. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw these in the dryer and put them on tumble air dry. So let's do that real quick. Throw that guy in there. And then we're gonna put the heat on low. Does this thing give you like a time span? I guess it doesn't, just put it on tumble dry. So I'm just gonna set it to 70 minutes and just check it. I'm gonna let it run for 20 minutes or so and see what it looks like at the end of that. Oh, let's make sure there's no lint roller in there. I got lots of dog hair up in that. All right, everyone, this thing sounds like they're, it's dried out really well, and I think it's getting getting that time, so let's check it. Oh, yeah. She's nice and toasty. Let's see how the jacket is. Oh, yeah. She's ready. She's ready for sure. Let's go get soaked again. All right, addicts, so now that we got this thing treated and waterproofed with the Nick Wax, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bib back up here, get re-bibbed up, then I'm gonna have my wife spray me down with the hose again, something she's probably been waiting to do her whole life. She's gonna be super excited. She's already over there like smiling ear to ear. I'm gonna put this back on. We're gonna kind of see what the difference is. I can already just tell right now, Addicts, by putting this stuff back on, that it's just more, it just feels crispier. It feels like 
almost like the Gore-Tex is revitalized a little bit. All right, everyone, so my wife's gonna spray me again, except this time what we've done is we've treated it with the Nick Wax. So let's see how the Gore-Tex kind of reacts now when she sprays me. I got it on shower right now just to kind of, so I can get a good visual. So just spray me down, Sharon, in the front, just kind of get me wet, and then I'll, we'll look at it. Okay, ready, addicts? Let's do this. I can already see now, like, look at the, look at the water just beating off me, straight on my hood. Watch this. You can already see that the water, just look at the jacket. See how the water is just beating off of the Gore-Tex? Look at this, I can literally shake it off now. And you can almost like tell if you look at the, look at the pants and everything it is not absorbing water nearly as much all right addicts now we're gonna go like full spray so we switched it to jet now we're gonna really get this stuff wet here okay go ahead Sharon. it's good okay again as you guys can see look at how the water is beating on the material now it's reflecting the water so much better even at a full spray from the hose which you're never gonna get out in the elements it's still able to really kind of bead that water out and it does it in an amazing manner All right, addicts, there you have it. That is how you use this Nick Wax stuff. It's the Nick Wax Tech Wash and the Nick Wax TX Direct. I'll drop some Amazon links below if you guys wanna go check it out and get it and revitalize your Gore-Tex. Like I said, I'm really loving this stuff and Nick Wax is one of our partners into the new year and probably many more years to come. We're excited to be working with them, excited to show you addicts another cool product that'll help you be comfortable out on the water while you're fishing. Thanks again so much for tuning in. If you wanna see more of these style of videos, make sure you drop a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the river.